this video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically tweet out every new video that you publish on YouTube. So as you're probably well aware, if you've been watching this channel for a while, something that I really enjoy doing is trying to find faster, more efficient ways to approach my daily workflow. Now, part of my regular or weekly workflow is obviously creating videos for this particular channel. And I'm always trying to find ways to make that faster since it's definitely not a full-time job. Really, it's just kind of a side project or even more of a hobby. But as a part of my creation process, there are a number of steps and maybe I will do a video in the future of kind of my updated checklist or workflow for producing a YouTube video. However, some of the basic pieces of it are of course coming up with the idea and kind of doing a basic structure or outline. But then once that video has been created, there are a number of publishing steps as well. So something I typically do is I will schedule out one of my YouTube videos in advance. Then along with that, two other steps that I have is writing and scheduling out an email, which helps keep people in the loop if maybe they're not always on YouTube and they wanna stay up to date with the content that I am creating, but then also is just sending out a tweet. One of the problems, however, was I found that I just kept forgetting to do that. And so that's when it just kind of dawned on me one day, why am I manually sending out a tweet when I publish a new video when I could just set up a really quick workflow for free to just do that for me. And so that's what we're going to do here today. I'm gonna to show you a really quick free tool that you can use in order to automatically tweet out new videos every single time that you publish them on YouTube. Okay, and so once you create your account, you should be able to see that you're now on the dashboard and they've given you a 14 day free trial to a bunch of the pro features. More than likely, you're not gonna need them, at least if you're only going to be doing what we're gonna be doing in this video, which is tweeting out a YouTube video, because you're only going to be creating one zap and it's only gonna fire four or five times per month, most likely, unless you're publishing every day. But again, you're probably going to be able to get away with the free version unless you're going to be using Zapier a lot. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is look for the button that says create zap and this is going to start our process. Now, in order to start the automation process, the first thing we need to do is select an event, something that's going to kick into motion our automated workflow. So typically what you'd, you would do here is just type out YouTube and then you would click YouTube since YouTube is going to contain the thing that's going to kick off our series of automations. Okay, so, but this specific event we're looking for is new video in channel. So essentially once a new video has been published in our channel, start the automated workflow. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And next we want to add in or connect our new account. So once you click create new account, as long as you're already logged into your Google slash YouTube account, all it should do is just walk you through a series of steps and confirmations to ensure that the two connect together. That is Zapier and Google slash YouTube. Once it has been connected, all you have to do is click continue and then we're going to select the channel ID for the specific videos that we want to check for. So the particular ID that you're looking for, if you go to your channel, you should be, you should see channel slash and then this string that follows it up. So what you wanna do is just copy that string and that is essentially what you're going to be looking for for your channel ID. So then you wanna paste that channel ID in here click refresh fields and then click continue. Once we have connected our channel to Zapier, then it's going to ask us to test the trigger. This is important because it's going to help detect the new videos or videos that exist in our channel. So we wanna make sure that that connection has worked properly. So we're going to test it out. And then it says, there we go, we found a new video in your channel and it's going to provide all of the data that it returned once it connect to that video. Okay, so that means we're good to go since it said it was connected successfully. And now what we're going to do is click continue. Okay, so we've successfully connected to our YouTube channel. Now we need to connect to our Twitter account. So for the action that we're going to take place, we're going to look for Twitter, we're going to find it there, and then we need to choose an event. And what we want to do is create a tweet. Okay, so we're gonna click continue. And now we need to go through a similar process that we did with Google slash YouTube, and we want to sign in and connect to our Twitter account. Okay, so it has successfully connected to my Twitter account, so we're good to go there. Go ahead and click continue. Okay, so next what we want to do is build out what we want this tweet to look like. So what I'm gonna say is new video. 
So this is the start of the tweet. So, so it's gonna say new video and then I want the title. So it's going to say new video, show the title, and then followed by the URL of the video itself. Now the cool thing about Twitter, of course, is that it should automatically embed it. If it doesn't, it'll still show the thumbnail. So we don't need to worry about doing any special formatting, at least that I'm aware of. So very basic, new video, show the title, and then the YouTube video URL. Now you can get fancier, you can even pull in the description if you want. It looks like they show quite a bit of other data too, so you can pick any of the other elements that you wanna include in the tweet. But for most cases, you're probably gonna to wanna to keep it pretty basic. You can also select a specific image if you want to as well. So if you want to select the thumbnail, I think they have that as an option, they do. So if you wanna include it as a separate image, I'm not gonna bother with that. I think that just including the video itself is enough then you can pick whether or not you want it to shorten the URL. I don't, I don't want my URLs shortened, but if you want Zapier to shorten the URL for you, you can. Okay, then we'll just go ahead and click continue. Now what we want to do is test action. Do be aware that when you run this test, it will send out a tweet. So if you don't want a tweet to be sent out, don't click test action, make sure you skip the test. However, I do recommend that you test it so that you know for sure whether or not it works. Part of the issues with connecting third parties to one another is that there's no test mode on Twitter. So the only way to test is to send out a tweet. So what I'm gonna do is open up Twitter so that I make sure I have it nice and handy to make sure that I can delete the tweet as soon as it gets posted because I obviously we're just testing. But then we're going to click test action. It says sending a tweet to Twitter and it looks like it says right here, a tweet was sent to Twitter two seconds ago. So we're gonna give that a quick refresh and there is my tweet, new video, how to get a video wallpaper on a Mac for free. So there we go, it's got the new video, it's got the title, and it's got the video embedded just as we would imagine. And then of course, we're gonna wanna quickly delete that tweet because that is not a new video, it's just the latest video, and we are of course testing. Okay, so we have successfully confirmed that our workflow works. So now what we wanna do is click Publish Zap publish and turn on, and there we go. We now have our workflow published. We can give this a name, auto tweet new YouTube videos. Go back, and there we go. We see it right here, it's on. If for whatever reason I want it to stop, I can just click and turn it off. I can edit it if I want to, and it's just that easy. Okay, so that's it. Just a really quick tip that I had for you today. I'll probably be doing some more complex Zapier themed videos in the future since it's starting to become, again, a pretty big part of my workflow. And it has saved me some time, so hopefully it will save you some time as well. As always, if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.